Hey guys, Dame Pace the Turtles here, and I'm here with a special tutorial for all you action movie makers out there. I'm gonna show you how to make an explosion effect. Um, so let's begin. I'm using Action Essentials too. They got good explosions. You can probably find other good explosion packs out there, but all you really need is your footage and the explosion. So let's drag these on, and but. Before you drag this on, you want to add a new video track, then drag that on on top. And then you can just move this. You can switch these by grabbing the track and moving it under until the black line is under the audio track. So now you have the track layout looking like that. Do not mind about the audio track. We can probably delete that. Yeah. So there, that's what the tracks look like. So together, you get this. But oh no, the explosion is in the way. What do we do? Composite, um, compositing mode, I'm sorry, and then click add. It makes it a little bit see-through, but the other settings are not as good. Now, so it doesn't lag as much, I'm gonna have to set this to half quality, so, on draft. I'm gonna have to set it to quarter quality. I know it's very pix pixelated, but it's the best we can get. First off, you wanna, if, if you're gonna make it shaky, you wanna make you want to place the explosion right before the camera moves. I added that a little bit for realism, maybe went a little bit overboard, but eh, who cares. So now when we watch it, it blows up right there. Now we could keep it like this if you want to make a bad explosion effect, but if you want to make it look like it's an actual real explosion effect that's staying in place, you're going to have to do some picture movement. Now you want to go to where? The explosion starts and you want to get in the event hand crop. Now you want to keep moving next frame until the explosion happens. And you choose a location of where you want the explosion to be. And you want to move each frame where the explosion would be if it's an outside the picture. You want to be where the explosion would be, actually, so, keep moving this. Keep moving it up. We can move, wait, we can move this down. And then it starts to come down, right here, so you can start moving it up by one pixel. Maybe a bit more, I'm doing right there. This is what you do. You basically just do frame by frame movement. And as you can see, there's lots of frames down there. Uh oh. I'm gonna try not to move it by rotating it. And now we're starting to come down a bit. Now remember where your location was. My location for the explosion was right there. So you still want to keep it there. It looks kind of stupid and doesn't look like it would fit at all while you're editing it, but don't worry, it gets better. Depending on how long the clip is, it'll take a while, so I'll probably just speed up the clip right here. There we have it, we have the fire effect, so let's watch it. And there you go, that is your explosion effect. One more little time. It is a little shaky, the explosion, I have to admit that. But with a little bit more time, I could have made it better. But, as you can see, it, at least it's better than just making one standstill explosion. But there you go, guys, that's how you make a realistic looking sort of explosion in Sony Vegas Pro 12. If this tutorial helped you or gave you an idea of something to do, um, please like this video and subscribe, most importantly. So see you guys, bye.